Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Darkest Dungeon. This is Bowtie Soulfly coming at you from the Bowtie Soulfly Estate. Here in lovely and, frankly, quite serene at sunset, Darkest Dungeon. So, in our last episode, we went ahead and took on the Swine King, and much like his princely counterpart, he went down rather easily. So, in today's episode, I really, really, really wanted to go after this ancestral trinket. It's the Ancestor's Musket Ball which, at the cost of a little extra stress damage, gives increased crit and damage to range skills. So on someone like our Highwayman, for example, like Mowbray, who already has the Gunslinger's Buckle, it would essentially give him huge damage with his range skills, only at the cost of a little stress. However, as much as I do love our champions, I don't think any of them are quite up to the task of a long dungeon yet. They still need to have their armor and their weapons upgraded, as well as their skills to a higher point. So, we are going to be doing some lower level missions, both in terms of apprentice and veteran. And today we're going to do something exciting to make up for the fact that I am a coward and will not go after the Ancestor's Musket Ball. So, we will finally be taking on the Brigand 8 Pounder today. That's right. I'm literally sitting here shaking, just thinking about doing it. But, in order to take it down, we are going to need a party... That is strong and capable. So, I will be taking the following. I will be bringing along Gordon, our Highwayman, Gabard, our lovely Hellion, Mortain, our Occultist for healing, as well as Danger for some damage. Now, of course, we need to equip them with some ranged trinkets. So, uh, let's go ahead and just unequip all. There we go. Oh, wow, Jesus, we... Maybe that was a bad move. Although it's nice to actually see everything that we have. All right. Again, I want to make it out of this alive, which I worry about that actually happening. So, increase dodge on you. Uh, we are going to give you additional accuracy, I think, with the Heaven's Hairpin. There's something else I want you to have. Here we go, Manslayer's Ring, because you will be going against human opponents. All right. Mortain. We will, of course, be giving you Dodge Incense. Increase the chance that you stay alive. And what else can we give you? Uh, at the cost of some extra stress damage, I think we're going to give you Barristan's Head to give you increased protection so that you can survive. And then, of course, Danger. We'll be giving you the Wrathful Bandana and the Medic's Greaves for extra damage, as well as some decent healing chance. And it appears this will freeze, so I'll be right back. All right, and I am back. Sorry about that. For some reason, as soon as they released D Darkest Dungeon in full, like the actual release, it started crashing a bunch. And I know that some other streamers have had problems with this and some other YouTubers. So yeah, I just, I don't get it, but you know, we'll make it work with what we have. So as I was saying, we have the Wrathful Bandana and the Medic's Grieve, so that way she can still give those nice heal skills if needed, but will have a much better damage and debuff chance. Along with, of course, increased evasion and protection on him. That we went with? Yeah, we went with increased protection on him. Our usual combo with him and our usual combo with her. So, God, I hope I don't lose like eight trinkets here. Let's go ahead and embark. And of course, I'm going to use all of this money to ensure that we have everything we need in order to make this a successful mission. So, of course, two full stacks of each of those. Three. I uh, don't need three holy water. All right, so we're going to bring four bandages, three anti-venom, uh, 24 food, 16 torches, three shovels, two medicinal herbs, two holy water, two keys, and a partridge and a pear tree. Oh, my God, why are we doing this? Let's go. Simple folk, their nature and the denizens of the hamlet were no exception. 
It was not long before rumors of my morbid genius and secretive excavations began to fuel local legend. In the face of my increasingly egregious flaunting of public taboos, awe turned to ire, and demonstrations were held in the town square. Powder hangs in the air. In the air. Machine is close. All right. So most likely, the pounder is right over there. Uh, you may be wondering why I chose the party composition that I did. Well, the reasoning behind that is uh, what I remember of my previous encounters with the Brigandate pounder, which again are few, but enough that I have an idea of what's going on. Uh, give me one sec as I just clear corpses. We're going to want a little bit of stun control. And for now, let's see. For now, this will work. Um, there's going to be a, like a flint man or like a matchstick man, essentially, that we're going to want to kill because if he manages to light the Brigand 8 Pounder, we are going to take so much damage, it's going to make my head spin, and then I'm going to cry. I'm not going to cry, but like I'm going to cry to myself. Why would you touch it? Why do you have to touch everything? I hate you. Uh. Okay. Got lucky. Stop touching things that don't belong to you. All right. We're going to keep the torch light up as much as we can. We're going to make our way through here as quickly and as painlessly as possible. Uh, anti-venom. Journal page. I don't know what this is. It's from a doomed ex uh, expedition, which is what ours will most likely be. So, it's only fitting that we find it now. I also apologize for some reason. My computer's being really weird these days, so if there is a little bit of lag uh, in terms of, like, character actions or movement, I do apologize. If anyone wants to buy me a new computer... All right, we're going to silence him, much as I like the sounds of DJ Caretaker. Uh, I don't need him messing up on this video, so he will stay quiet. All right, we have Fungal Scratchers and Artillery. We get the surprise, which is, of course, huge for us. And let's just do our best to take some of them out now. Beautiful. The crit will take out that one. Oh, it moved him, but actually that's fine because her ability can still hit there. Uh... He's going to dodge, that's unfortunate, but we should be able to clean it up with let it bleed, or make it bleed. Beautiful. So we got rid of both the marks, which is good for us because that means less blight, and of course, less damage overall because now they can't use Ren the Marked. Alright, so party's off to a good start here. 14 heal. Mortain, you're already doing better than our boy Rord was. And a beautiful crit, so that's like three crits already for us, I think. Great way to start this out. Let me tell you. All right, Groping Swipe is going to come in. Five damage. Painful, but we're living. Eight damage to him. Heal up while we've got the chance. Ooh, the bleed is unfortunate. So we'll, of course, staunch that. And Grape Shot Blast should be enough to kill him. I'm putting Grape Shot Blast on because I know we're going to face a lot of actual human enemies, so I would like the chance to actually hit several if possible. And we're frozen again. All right, and we are back. I do apologize about that. Again, don't know what's going on, but I know I hate having to load this eight times in order to just play through. Not literally eight, but sort of. All right. Um, and we're back. I'm sorry about that. I don't know why the game decides to do this, but we will go on in the hopes that it does not continue to freeze on us. All right. I left that behind, uh, that Blight Charm, because the last time I sat there and contemplated about it, um, we actually wound up freezing again. So maybe there are just certain things in here that are causing it to freeze if we sit there and click on them for too long. So 
we will just move forward in the hopes that we will continue to destroy our enemies, and luckily we get another surprise, which is good. All right, so we're going to try and take out them. Sadly, we have no accuracy, so that sucks. All right, one of the Acolytes will go down. And another one of the Acolytes is soon to follow. Beautiful. So no stress damage coming. We want to make sure we maintain our sanity for the upcoming fight. And Groping Swipes are going to do a little bit of damage. Beautiful dodge, but we're all right. So, again, the reason that I equipped our Hellion with the Manslayer's Ring, you're probably wondering, well, you see there are humans and humans, but especially in the fight with the Brigand 8-pounder, the 8-pounder itself is in fact a cannon, but... Uh, the enemies that are with it are all humans, so I wanted to be able to take them out quickly and quietly. So, we'll go ahead and do a Grape Shot Blast. I'll get the chance to heal up a little bit with our Cultist. Beautiful heals. I gotta say, Mortain is really just putting in some great work so far, making me very happy that I brought him along. So, congrats, Mortain. Proud of you, bud. Alright, 11 damage gonna be pretty good. And let's go ahead and not kill this yet because we can't now the groping swipe gonna come in so sadly hitting the first space is a little rough for us right now but this should do them in and it does all right so we're gonna pick up more food some jade some money and what can we afford to drop off um i honestly think we'll be okay on food so i'm going to take money in place of that uh, I am going to hold on to a key in the event that we find a secret room. Um, not that worried about the blight, in all honesty. All right. So as long as we don't have any unfortunate fights along the way, uh, we shouldn't see a shambler at all. I don't expect us to. And... Go ahead and boost our resistance, take that. As long as we don't have a collector fight. Oh, see, now the food comes in. Lighting a torch because... Okay, perfect. So yeah, as long as we don't have any unfortunate fights along the way, we should be good. Three down. Three down! Been playing a little bit of Destiny, so of course... That voice is stuck in my head. Three down! Scouting! Woo! Alright. Is your trap disarm not enough? Yep. I was hoping that our cultist's trap disarm would be a little higher because I want to relieve some of his stress, but sadly we'll have to hopefully wait. I didn't even check our camping skills. I'm that confident in us. Haha, <laughs> sort of. That we will be alright, so I didn't bother to check those. So hopefully those will be fine. Uh, we are rapidly approaching our friend the... Bring an 8-pounder, and see, that is why we are going to keep that key, because, of course, wow, three fights. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to this room. We're going to save the secret room. We are going to battle both of them, come back, camp, then go to battle with the Bring an 8-pounder. Sound good? Sounds great. All right. So, there's our secret room. That will allow us to also get rid of shovels to make room for the secret room. And the secret room is going to be our reward for making it through. So if we don't make it through, we don't get a reward. It's kind of like you have to condition children. I have to condition myself to not give up. Oh, God, I'm not looking forward to this fight. All right, so we have three cultists. Of course, you pick him to target. Couldn't use that dodge in sense, could you? Six, wow. All right, that's an issue. That's a bit of an issue it is. All right, so let's... Well, we can incurse the one that's still left. I'm going to kill her before she messes my life up anymore. And since he's already debuffed... Okay, well, he's going first anyway. But yeah, since he's debuffed, I'm going to kill him first. Uh, actually, I'm going to heal up a little bit, get rid of that bleed, and give us a little buff. Lovely. Alright, we'll heal up a little more. Five is perfectly fine for right now. Ren for the old gods. I thought you had decent dodge. You do, you're 23. Dodge like a man. All right, 10 damage to him. We're getting really unlucky with the turn order, sadly. 
We're going to resist both of those, which is nice. Get some damage off on him, because we still have her acting this turn. 21 damage, there it is. All right. So that puts us in a much better position, and that crit is going to come in huge for us. So we get the, is that the Chigurgeon Charm? Yeah. We're going to do this other fight quickly. Not terrible fights, but also not, like, the most ideal. So we'll take what we can get when we can get it. That's not going to do enough to the artillery. Oh, there it is. That'll do just enough. I was like, that's going to do very small damage. I know they have protect, but, like, come on. All right. It's Wicked Hack. Swiping. <laughs> Swiper, no swiping. But, like, literally, stop it. Beautiful dodge. All right. I make it rain and bleed it out. I make it rain and bleed it out. Two heal, come on. You know what, better you get that out of the way now, because if you do that during the pounder fight, I might literally reach through my screen and kill you. And by that, I mean I'll break my computer. All right. Uh, we'll heal you up a little bit right now. We're going to take a hit. So, undid some of that. But you'll receive a little bit more heal. And I'm actually just going to take the time, clear this out of the way, heal him up, crit heal for 20, that's what's up, and bye bye All right, because I want to spend literally all of our time camping just on buffs. I want to be the buffest. I want to be so buff, I don't even know what to do with myself. Going back, going back. And I also want to do a little bit of stress relief on our boy. So let's quickly look through their skills. Locked, locked, locked. Locked. Okay, so I'm an idiot. I mean, nothing new there, but it's going to be a little difficult to relieve his stress. So we'll, of course, eat food. Uh, we're going to hope this works. It does. She's a little more stressed, but it gets him right where we need him. All right, Gallows Humor. We're going to have her restring crossbow, and we're going to have him... Bandit Sense. No nighttime ambush and a better chance to surprise. All right. Let's get ready. Let's get focused. Good state of mind. New York state of mind. We'll pretend we're Jay-Z. And let's do this. Let's see what we can get here. 12 food. Beautiful. That's beautiful. It's beautiful, Eddie. All right. Whew. Here we go. God, I hate this. All right, we managed to surprise. Beautiful. All right, the matchman has very low health, so immediately just, boom, knock him out. Perfect. All right, we are going to attempt to weaken them. He can summon more, so by no means are we in the clear. As you can see, the Brigadade Pounder also has massive resistances, so in this case, being able to deal damage, and we should probably have, uh, we have nothing that'll lower his protect chance, do we? We don't. So I'm going to go for straight damage on this thing whenever we can. That'll do less dodge. You know what? We're going to Sniper's Mark for now because it'll help increase both of their damage. All right, Blanket Fire is going to come in, decrease our dodge slightly. Oh, but speaking of dodge, we dodge. Uppercut Slice. Beautiful dodges all around. Reinforcements. Reminds me of one of my favorite Magic the Gathering cards, Bottle Gnomes, in which case the flavor text is reinforcements or refreshments because they're delicious. All right. Beautiful crit. Start us out. We'll deal some more damage to the pounder. Ugh, this fight's going to be rough. All right. Um, let's decrease your damage and do a little bit of damage to you. It's going to resist. Oh, yeah, 200% debuff resist. I should probably learn to read. All right, six damage to the... Pounder. I think I'm just going to focus on Matchman Pounder. It's going to cause us to take a lot of damage, but it'll cause us to not get hit by this thing, which is basically what I'm looking to do, is not get hit by that. Oh, man. Meant to hit them with Abyssal Artillery. That's a mistake. But luckily, not a huge mistake. So, again, as long as we keep the Matchman contained, we are fine. Uh, a Vestal might have been useful here for the party heals against this. Ooh, the crit hurts. Crit hurts. We got to heal. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, I'm going to take him out just to avoid more damage. Beautiful crit heal from our Arbalist, surprisingly so. Puts us in a better position. 
Mark's going to clear away, so we're going to need to, once again, Mark, and of course, kill the matchman. Pounder's now in front, so if I wanted, I could duelist advance and point blank shot, but instead, I'm going to focus on just killing the matchman, and luckily, all these crits are helping a lot with our stress. So, we will survive. As long as we know how to love, we know we're still alive. Oh, I can't mark him in the front. This is unfortunate. All right. Well, it looks like we're going to leave the pounder all alone for now, and now we'll just get in some damage. Call someone in front of you. That would be great. Nothing. All right. So we're going to debuff him. Uh, kill the matchman. Good news is that our pistol shot happens to be doing quite a bit of damage to him. Another four to the cannon. So yeah, we're whittling it down slowly but surely. We've got 30 HP left to go on it. But we are quickly dying, so we got to hope for a couple lucky dodges on our part in order to... Okay, beautiful. Didn't kill. That's bad. Uh, for now, I'm actually going to just heal up. Crit heal of four does nothing. Uh, I'm going to let our Arbalist go. Beautiful crit. We definitely needed that, so he's now below half health. And... Bye-bye, Matchman. All right. That I can handle. Uh, if you could call one of the... Thank you. So he's finally in a position I can mark him again. And this makes me feel a whole lot better. All right. Blanket Fire's going to come in and do some beautiful missing. Oh, thank God. We are, of course, going to hit this cannon for everything we can. Clink. We are going to leave him alive. And I forgot to set up the skill, or did I? Nope. Oh, and that will hit right where I want it to. Perfect. So the good news is I can negate him as an enemy for a turn with the stun. Hands from the abyss. So Matchman's going to be in the back. All right. So as you can tell, this is why I hate this fight. Um, I will definitely next time bring a class that will reduce protection buffs, because that will make the pounder easier to take down. Uh, again, we're getting minimum rolled, and it's killing me. Oh, I need to be in spot two to use that. Well, I'm dumb. But it's okay. Why? Because that's going to miss. Of course it is. Lovely. All right. This better not. And it doesn't. All right. So, again, safe for a turn. Uppercut Slice is going to do some damage. And we can duelist advance in order to get back where we need to be. But in the meantime, we can also stun. All right. Ugh. Not too stressful so far. We're taking a lot of damage, but we're not that bad. All right, Hands from the Abyss is going to reduce Torchlight slightly, but we get the stun, which we definitely needed. Didn't kill like I wanted to with that, so instead we're just going to continue with the Hellion. The Hellion should probably be focusing on the actual... Uh, human opponents, I know, but at this point, what we're doing is slowly whittling it down, so I'm not not screwing with the formula, so to speak. She's actually going to go first. Um, Alright, let's try this slightly different. We dodged. Beautiful dodge. Shank's going to hurt. And we bleed. Alright, speaking of bleeding, uh, let's go ahead and heal. Three... What did I tell you, Mortane? What did I tell you? Ugh. Alright, we're going to get three off on the cannon. And we're going to go ahead and mark him one more time. Slowly but surely, we are killing the pounder. We've got only 10 health out of 50 left, so we've got an 80% dead. And we should survive another couple rounds easily. Again, after this, all we have to do is go back. Seven health is better. I'll take that. We will, of course, kill him. And now our two that take advantage of the mark can do just that. Again, I wanted to make sure we killed the matchman first every time because, seriously, that thing will do, I think, 15 to 20 damage and can do it to all of our units, I believe, at once. So 
Beautiful crit for six damage. Being able to take out Brigade Pounder and make sure it's not a threat is vitally important. So, Brigade Pounder is down. We just have the Fusilier and the Cutthroat left. Beautiful crit. And now we're actually going to heal up just a little bit. Why? Because we can. And the good news is they can't summon another Pounder. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Sorry, that popped up. Let's try that again. All right, four heal. Shank gonna come in. Gonna dodge, because of course, evasion incense. Beautiful, 20 crit heal. Heal ourselves a little more. Heal her up for five. A little damage off on him. Slice and dice. Pew! And I just want to get our people a little bit more healthy so that we can explore just a little more at the end. All right, so everyone's back in a reasonable range. Now everyone's perfect. Ish. And, ah, oh, it didn't kill. That's unfortunate. Slice. Guess we are wasting time, but you know what? I'll take the stress. That's fine with me. Hands from the abyss. Mwah, uh, uh. All right, we're going to switch there. We're going to, of course, take the archer's ring because archer's ring is bay. Oh, don't freeze. All right, I'll see you all in a second. All right, and we are back. I apologize about that. Unfortunately, for some reason, my computer is being incredibly dumb and keeps shutting down the game. Uh, I think it actually... Oh, here we go again. Alrighty, I do apologize about that. Um, again, this game has closed about seven times or so in the process of me making this episode. Uh, and that's just up to this point, so I don't know what's going on. I'll probably try restarting Steam. If that doesn't help in the future, I'll restart my computer. And I'll just try and figure out what's going on. But for now, we went ahead and we beat the 8-pounder. Woo! Killed it. And uh, we got a couple of trinkets that we can either use or sell once we make it back to town. And we are, of course, going to be looking for da, 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 this beautiful secret room. So, uh, shift and click here to reduce the torch, make it black as pitch. And we are going to open up this ancient artifact, see what it contains. Oh, wow, so only two of the trapezohedrons, but Dismas's head, which I heard is a very good item. Wow, just an additional 25% damage. This is impressive. All right, so I went ahead and took care of that. Um, from what I've noticed, it seems like the game is freezing a lot of times due to stuff with items. So uh, whenever we get something after beating a group of enemies or whenever we open that chest, uh, I've noticed that the game has been freezing. So in order to rectify that situation, I'm going to try to make decisions as quickly as possible and also possibly just like skip through and not take things if they're not absolutely necessary until I can figure out a way to stop this from continually freezing. Uh, hopefully other people have brought it up to the dev team at Red Hook and Clay, and hopefully they can figure out what's going on. So overall, we did pretty well. No one leveled up to three, so we'll get to take everyone out for another boss mission if need be. Uh, in town, Mortain will only pray for stress relief, so that's unfortunate, but overall, mission went pretty well, I would say. We managed to take down the Brigandate Pounder. We walked away with 10,000 in gold, plus another, I think, 4,500 or 6,500 from the mission itself. So like 15,000 overall. Yeah, 14,650. Uh, as well as two great trinkets. So uh, we had some people get some stuff cured. And we managed to pick up another wounding helmet for the bounty hunter, which is an additional 20% uh, to melee skill damage at the cost of a little move skill chance which again, we don't focus on too heavily. And then of course, Dismas's head, uh, which uh, decreases max HP slightly, increases our stress damage, but gives us an extra 25% damage, which stacked up with other things, like for example, the uh, Gunslinger's Buckle, that's an extra 45% damage if we wanted to. So that is incredibly huge. And it's frozen once again. All right, well, once again, the game froze while I was trying to look at items, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here before we freeze anymore and I lose my mind, not because of the game, but of course because of the actual physical copy of the game itself. So, 
If you're enjoying our Darkest Dungeon series, if you're excited that we finally took down the Brigade 8 Pounder, and if you're happy that I was able to make it through nine different game crashes in order to record this episode, do be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, if you would like a character named after yourself, or if you'd like to name a character, do be sure to let me know in the comment section, because I'd be happy to do that. And overall, your support and your feedback on this series, as always, are greatly appreciated. I really do appreciate any time you take to watch the episode, leave a like, and leave a comment, and then subscribe to the channel. So any of you who do any of that stuff, or, you know, again, even just watching these videos, it really does mean a lot. So, for now, this is Bowtie Sofly saying have a great day while I try and fix this Darkest Dungeon game and stop it from crashing. And stay fly.